everything out here. This building over here. Looking at abandoned towns, the whole works. Some trail efforts. Today is a pretty awesome day because I am currently walking through Centralia, Pennsylvania. Yes, the abandoned ghost town from the 50s. There's not really much here anymore, but the uh, graffiti sidewalks, which uh, I don't know, cover up. The graffiti sidewalks are still here. It's pretty cool. So, for those of you that don't know the story of this town, just know that due to uh, some fires that went out of control, this town became abandoned decades ago. And I actually just talked to some locals. It's nowhere near like what it used to be. Only during the winter time can you see some of the uh, fiery smoke rising up out of the ground. There's still sinkholes, there's still plenty of graffiti, there's still remnants of buildings. A lot of the buildings have been torn down over the years, but it's still pretty cool to walk through here though.
I'm in an area of Centralia, Pennsylvania, the abandoned ghost town. I'm just hiking to the woods here and This feels like a odd bunch of items that have just been dumped here. And strange random dump site here. Not much in this world. Didn't give me creepy vibes. But this car cemetery here in Centralia, Pennsylvania does the trick. All these cars have been abandoned here for years. So many classics out here. I'm not gonna lie, that cat just gave me a miniature heart attack. Pretty damn sure. But I'm completely alone out here. Because if I wasn't, I'm sure someone would have said something about it. We're gonna do a quick landscape video of this place. This is the only, this is the most exciting thing I've seen down here so far. Powered by ADT. <laughs> Shit. Here's the driveway. Someone does live over there though. But not over here. Your tires. Me. I had a question. Uh, like uh, the the craters and the burning and stuff and all that here. Um, well, the graffiti highway with the store cover, you gotta go right up to the top. I've I've seen that, but I'm talking like the the buildings and all that. The actual the they say there's like fire coming out of the ground and whatnot. You won't see it until it's winter, like the smoke and stuff. Um, there's only like one or two houses left. Everything else is torn down. Are there places where t gas is coming up and things? Or? Well, you can't see it because, like I said, like when it's um, winter out and the heat, yeah. when the grounds come up, you can see the steam and stuff. But no. Once the temperature goes below 32 degrees, that's going to happen. Where's the house at? I just wanted to, I, I drove all the way from Kansas. Um, there, there really is none now. <laughs> oh, so. so. So this place isn't is it the uh, is it essentially? So this place is, isn't any more what it's talked about on the internet. Then, like they say, there's there's fumes that come up, and like your tires will melt if you drive along the road. No, years ago when it was really, because right up in here where this road was, it was very active. Oh. Um, and so there was a lot of fumes and smoke and stuff coming up off the ground. 
the roots were getting fried. It's already regrowing now, so the fire kind of moved on. But like, But but I'm in the right place though, right? Yeah. Centralia. Yep. Cause when I drove through here, I was I was expecting. I would say 25 years ago. Oh, yeah. My family's from here, so I could I could, That's why I can tell you. Yeah, it's probably it got less and less um, like in the last like 20 years. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff, the good photos you've seen were probably from. Oh yeah, they're all between 90 and. But I mean, I've, I've already went over the graffiti highway, but is this place a pretty safe to hike on the trails? There really is no trails. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so I just kind of... So, so those trails are all man-made by people who've come yeah, through there? Yeah, well, people have four-wheelers, and they go out. Yeah, you can... There's a lot of paths you can go, yeah. But, like, no one's going to... This is a pretty safe area. Like, I there's, don't know. In, Could I be up here? Damn. Yeah, we don't, none of us go along. But how far does Centralia go? Is it this whole area, or? Yeah, I was actually going to ask about the sinkholes. Like, I've heard people can, like, fall through it. Is that still here, or is that in the past? That was years ago. Um, but it, could it happen? Absolutely. Yeah, we were out here looking just for mushrooms, and, uh, yeah, there's sinkholes. There is. Damn. It's not, not super bad, because most of all this, you know, was properties. But if you venture out further where they did have mines and stuff, you could be in a little bit All better. of this was properties? Yeah. And and that the fi the underground fires, whoa. Well, it wasn't the whole thing was on fire underneath. What was happening is these houses were getting a lot of radon gas because of the fire up here. Oh yeah. So that's why they had to go. Yeah. yeah some people held out like this person there. Now they could stay there for life for the government. They could never sell the place but once they die. That's it. Yeah. You know, they have like an eminent domain. Oh, cause of cause of biohazard and whatnot. Yeah. But, to stay here, but. thank you so much for telling me that. Oh, you're welcome. I wish I could say, hey, this is neat to look at. There's not really much. No, I appreciate that because I was, I was, feel, I was, I was telling my wife, I'm like, well, maybe the town's gone and it's just maybe just I don't know. I like there's, I saw, I found a couple of abandoned looking buildings and I found I see the ashes in different places like the stacks of ashes. I saw the graffiti highway. I'm like, I have to be in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just I'll drive around a little bit more than I'm gonna head out. But thank you so much for yeah, telling me you that. I actually almost got stuck earlier. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, thank you so much, ma'am. Enter. I'm not gonna explore it, but...